Welcome to today's episode of Market Buzz where we're bringing you the latest news on the stock market. We're kicking this one off with a look at Procter & Gamble Company, whose shares gained about 1.5% pre-market after the consumer goods giant reported better than expected earnings and revenue for its fiscal third quarter. The company also boosted its forecast for organic sales growth for fiscal 2023 to 6% from 4 to 5%, driving up their share price. Next up we have transportation company CSX Corporation, whose shares climbed 2.4% after reporting better than expected earnings for the first quarter. The company posted $0.48 cents per share on revenue of $3.71 billion, above analysts' estimates of $0.43 cents per share and $3.58 billion in revenue. Moving on to WR Berkeley, the commercial lines insurer stock dropped 3% after posting net premiums earned of $2.49 billion in its first quarter, lower than the $2.53 billion expected by analysts. The firm also reported operating per share earnings of $1, lower than $1.10 per share a year ago. Switching gears to paint manufacturer PPG Industries, whose shares rose 0.8% pre-market while they announced better than expected second quarter guidance. The company expects adjusted earnings of $2.05 to $2.15 per share, greater than analysts' estimates of $1.96 per share. We're also keeping an eye on Context Logic, the online e-commerce platform, that saw shares advance 16% in pre-market trading after the announcing a $50 million share repurchase program. Next we're looking at Regions Financial whose shares were 0.6% higher after the company reported mixed quarterly results. They missed estimates on per share earnings but met with revenue expectations, and posted net interest income of $1.42 billion, greater than the $1.4 billion consensus estimate. Moving on, we're looking at drilling firm Schlumberger NV, whose stock fell 0.6% even though it topped first quarter expectations on the top and bottom lines. The firm reported adjusted earnings of $0.63 cents per share on revenue of $7.74 billion, greater than the consensus expectation for per share earnings of $0.60 cents on revenue of $7.44 billion. We're rounding off with a quick look at Freeport MC Mo Ran, AT&T and Philip Morris International. The mining firm's stock slid 1.1% pre-market ahead of the company's conference call where they will be discussing quarterly results. AT&T, on the other hand, had its stock climb 0.8% today as HSBC upgraded the telecommunications giant to a buy rating. Finally, Goldman Sachs said it remains bullish on Philip Morris International despite the tobacco stock's sharp drop on earnings, reiterating a buy rating. That's all for this episode of Market Buzz. We'll keep you updated on all the latest stock market news, so stay tuned for more.